Well, welcome everyone. Hope you are well. It is Monday. It is the 11th week after Pentecost. We're glad you're here. Um, I just had a frisson of terror and realized that I may have said 12th Sunday after Pentecost for yesterday's worship services. So I might have to go into YouTube and change those. But you know, these things happen from time to time. You just have to roll with it. And uh, that's what we do at St. Peter's. We roll with it. In fact, we rolled with it so well yesterday, we scheduled two readers when we only needed one. So, hmm. you know, that's, we just all laughed it off and kept going. Please know that we're happy to have you here to welcome you home to St. Peter's and uh, joining us for morning prayer today. We ask you to like and subscribe, hit the bell for notifications. Uh, if you're watching on YouTube, if you're watching on Facebook and the live chat, please include your intercessions and thanksgivings in those comments. YouTube, put them in there. Facebook Live, we offer them at the end of the office. And, and in terms of uh, anything offered in YouTube, we make sure that the next office after this one is the one we get praying over. We're glad to have you with us. Good morning, Corinne. By the way, one of the things that's interesting about the live chat that I monitor on Facebook is that um, there are people that come up and on a consistent basis and, they, and Facebook rates you as a fan. So Corinne, you are our number one fan according to Facebook. So, and we're yours. All right, guys, we are ready for morning prayer. And uh, we have this beautiful Julia Lama uh, picture of Job with his three friends. You'll hear from them later in a short while during the first reading. But now we have morning prayer. Here we go. The Lord is in his holy temple. Let all the earth keep silence before him. Let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed, by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole hearts. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways, to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us all our sins through our Lord Jesus Christ, strengthen us in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep us in eternal life. Amen. Lord, open our lips, and our mouth should proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Please join me in unison for the antiphon and invitatory. The earth is the Lord's, for he made it. Come, let us adore him. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving, and raise a loud shout to him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God, and a great King above all gods. In his hand are the caverns of the earth, and the heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his, for he made it. His hands have molded the dry land. Come, let us bow down and bend the knee, and kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture, and the sheep of his hand. Oh, that today you would hearken to his voice. The earth is the Lord's, for he made it. Come, let us adore him. We start the Psalter over again today, one, two, and three. I'll offer the odd verses. Please respond with the even. Happy are those who do not follow the advice of the wicked, or take the path that sinners tread, or sit in the seat of scoffers. But their delight, but their delight is, is in the law of the Lord, and their on his law they, they meditate, meditate day and night. night. They are like trees planted by streams of water, which yield their fruit in due season and their leaves do not wither, in all that they do, they prosper. The wicked are not so, but are like chaff that the wind drives away. Therefore, the wicked will not stand in the judgment, nor sinners in the congregation of the righteous. The Lord watches, the Lord over, the watches way over the way of the righteous, but the way of the wicked will perish. Why do the nations conspire and the peoples plot in vain? The kings of the, the, kings earth, of the earth set themselves, and, and the rulers take counsel together against the Lord, and his, his anointed, anointed, saying, 
Let us burst their bonds asunder and cast their cords from us. He who sits, he who sits in, in the heavens, heavens laughs. laughs. The Lord he has them in derision. in derision. Then he will speak to them in his wrath and terrify them in his fury, saying, I have I set, set my, my king, king on Zion, my holy hill. My holy hill. I will tell of the decree of the Lord. He said to me, you are my son. Today I have begotten you. Ask, Ask of, of me, me and I will, I make, will the make the nations, nations your heritage and the, and the ends of the, of the earth, earth your, your possession. possession. You shall break them with a rod of iron and dash them in pieces like a potter's vessel. Now, now therefore, therefore be, be wise. O kings, be wise. Be warned, be warned O rulers, rulers of the earth. The earth. Serve the Lord with fear, with trembling, kiss his feet. Or he will be angry, and you will perish in the way. For, for his uh, wrath is quickly, quickly kindled. kindled. Happy, happy are, are all who take, take refuge, refuge in him. him. O Lord, how many are my foes. Many are rising against me. Many, many are saying to me, to me there is there's no help, no help for, you for you and God. God. But you, O oh Lord, are a shield around me, my glory, and the one who lifts up my head. I cry, I cry aloud, aloud to the Lord, Lord and, and he, he answers, answers me, me from, from his, his holy, holy hill. hill. I lie down and sleep. I wake again, for the Lord sustains me. I am, I not, am not afraid, afraid of, ten of tens thousands of, thousands of people who have who set, set themselves, themselves against me all around. around. Rise up, O oh Lord. Deliver me, O my God, for you strike all my enemies on the cheek. You break the teeth of the wicked. Deliverance, Deliverance belongs, to belongs, belongs to the Lord. May your May blessing your be, be on, on your people. people. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. reading from the book of Job. Then Eliphaz the Temanite answered, call now, is there anyone who will answer you? To which of the holy ones will you turn? Surely vexation kills the fool and jealousy slays the simple. I have seen fools taking root, but suddenly I curse their dwelling. Their children are far from safety. They are crushed at the gate. And there is no one to deliver them. The hungry eat their harvest, and they take it even out of the thorns. The thirsty pant after their wealth. For misery does not come from the earth, nor does trouble spout from the ground. But human beings are born to trouble, just as sparks fly upward. As for me, I would seek God, and to God I would commit my case. Cause, sorry. He does great things and unsearchable marvelous things without number. He gives rain on the earth and sends water on the fields. He sets on high those who are lowly and those who mourn are lifted to safety. How happy is the one whom God reproves. Therefore, do not despise the discipline of the Almighty. For he wounds, but he binds up. He strikes, but his hands heal. He will deliver you from six troubles. In seven, no harm shall touch you. In famine, he will redeem you from death, and in war, from the power of the sword. You shall be hidden from the scourge of the tongue, and shall not fear destruction when it comes. You shall come to your grave in a ripe old age, and a shock of grain comes up from the threshing floor in its season. See, we have searched this out. It is true. Hear and know it for yourself. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our first canticle this morning is the Song of Hannah together. My heart exalts in you, O God. My triumph song is lifted in you. My mouth derides my enemies, for I rejoice in your salvation. There is none holy like you, nor any rock to be compared to you, our God. Do not heap up prideful words or speak in arrogance. Only God is knowing and weighs all actions. The bows of the mighty are broken, but the weak are clothed in strength. Those once full now labor for bread, 
Those who hungered now are well fed. The childless woman has borne sevenfold, while the mother of many is forlorn. God destroys and brings to life, casts down and raises up, gives wealth or takes it away, humbles and dignifies. God raises the poor from the dust and lifts the needy from the ash heap to make them sit with the rulers and inherit a place of honor. For the pillars of the earth are God's, on which the whole earth is founded. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. And after taking some food, he regained his strength. For several days, he was with the disciples in Damascus. And immediately he began to proclaim Jesus in the synagogue, saying, He is the Son of God. All who heard him were amazed and said, Is not this the man who made havoc in Jerusalem among those who invoked his name? And has he not come here for the purpose of bringing them bound before the chief priests? Saul became increasingly more powerful and confounded by the Jews who lived in Damascus by proving that Jesus was the Messiah. After some time had passed, the Jews plotted to kill him, but their plot became known to Saul. They were watching the gates day and night so that they might kill him. But his disciples took him by night and led him down through an opening in the wall, lowering him in a basket. When he had come to Jerusalem, he had tempted to join the disciples, and they were all afraid of him, for they did not believe that he was a disciple. But Barnabas took him, brought him to the apostles, and described for them how on the road he had seen the Lord who had spoken to him, and how in Damascus he had spoken boldly in the name of Jesus. So he went in and out among them in Jerusalem, speaking boldly in the name of the Lord. He spoke and argued with the Hellenists, but they were attempting to kill him. When the believers learned of it, they brought him down to Caesarea and sent him off to Tarsus. Meanwhile, the church throughout Judea, Galilee, and Samaria had peace and was built up. Living in the fear of the Lord and in the comfort of the Holy Spirit, it increased in numbers. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our second canticle is a song of Christ's goodness. Together, Jesus, as a mother, you gathered your people to you. You are gentle with us as a mother with her children. Often you weep over our sins and our pride. Tenderly you draw us from hatred and judgment. You comfort us in sorrow and bind up our wounds. In sickness you nurse us and with pure milk you feed us. Jesus, by your dying, we are born to new life. By your anguish and labor, we come forth in joy. Despair turns to hope through your sweet goodness. Through your gentleness, we find comfort in fear. Your warmth gives life to the dead. Your touch makes sinners righteous. Lord Jesus, in your mercy, heal us. In your love and tenderness, remake us. In your compassion, bring grace and forgiveness. For the beauty of heaven, for your love, prepare us. The Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial. Deliver us from evil. The kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. <clears throat> Show us your mercy, O Lord. And grant us your salvation. Your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Let your, Let your people, people sing with joy. joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world. 
Only, Only you in you can, can we safety. live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under your care. And guide, guide us in the way, way of justice and truth. truth. Let your way be known upon earth. You're Lord, saving you health, health among all nations. nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten. Nor, nor the, the hope, hope of the poor, poor be taken, taken away. away. Create in us clean hearts, O God. And sustain us with, with your Holy Spirit. Spirit. Grant, O merciful God, that your church, being gathered together in unity by your Holy Spirit, may show forth your power among all peoples to the glory of your name, through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. O God, the author of peace and lover of concord, to know you is eternal life and to serve you is perfect freedom. Defend us, your humble servants, and all assaults of our enemies, that we, surely trusting in your defense, may not fear the power of any adversaries, through the might of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Almighty and everlasting God, by whose spirit the whole body of your faithful people is governed and sanctified, receive our supplications and prayers which we offer before you for all members of your holy church that in their vocation and ministry, they may truly and devoutly serve you through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Please join me for the prayer attributed to St. Francis. Lord, make us instruments of your peace. Where there is hatred, let us sow love. Where there is injury, pardon. Where there is discord, union. Where there is doubt, faith. Where there is despair, hope. Where there is darkness, light where there is sadness, joy. Grant that we may not so much seek to be consoled as to console, to be understood as to understand, to be loved as to love. For it is in giving that we receive, it is in pardoning that we are pardoned, and it is in dying that we are born to eternal life. Amen. Welcome your intercessions and thanksgivings. Okay, I'd like to pray for Tara, who's having surgery this morning. Elizabeth, who begins a new course of medications this week. We give thanks to the birth of Malia Renee and for her parents, Nicholas and Caitlin, and for their animal companion, Petey, the pit bull, as he gets used to the expansion of the pack, takes care of his little puppy. Pray for John that he'd be comforted and given strength strength in this troubling time and that I can find the right words to share with him and he'll be okay. Amen. We give thanks for a fruitful day yesterday in church for the whole community. We pray for the family on Tice Avenue in South River who lost their home to fire and for their swift recovery from that trauma. We give thanks that no one was hurt. In the Anglican cycle of prayer, we pray for the Diocese of Southeastern Mexico, La Iglesia Anglicana de Mexico. In the Diocesan cycle of prayer, we pray for the Ministry of Episcopal Relief and Development. Grant, O oh God, that your holy and life-giving spirit may so move every human heart, and especially the hearts of the people of this land, that barriers which divide us may crumble, suspicions disappear, and hatreds cease. That our divisions being healed, we may live in justice and peace through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Just join me for the general thanksgiving. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life but above all for your immeasurable love and the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace, and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, 
to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you. You have promised through your well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth and in the age to come, life everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, to, be God. to God. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. Amen. For all you folks who have a little bit of OCD in them, just want to celebrate the fact that we got to the last line and the last page at the very bottom of the page. So let us rejoice and give thanks in this day that the Lord has made. So glad you have all been with us today. Please know that we've been happy to have you. Like and subscribe, hit the bell for notifications. If you are watching on Facebook, follow along. You'll get notifications of when we are live. And of course, you'll always get notices of when we post content if you subscribe to our YouTube channel, which we're posting content all the time. So glad to have you with us. Welcome home to St. Peter's. You are in the midst this week of the dollar sale. All clothing, all clothing in shop at St. Peter's for a dollar a piece as they get ready to close for a week and retail in the fall. As well, if you wish, um, contact the office if you desire to make a donation on behalf of Family Peters Avenue. We are taking those in. We stuff in the police department, which is coordinating. In all things, it's been great to see you. We will see you for evening prayer at 5 p.m. For now, dear friends in Christ, welcome to St. Peter's. Take care and God bless. Bye-bye. Bye. Live long and prosper. <laughs>